At the finish line for the Turkey Trot 5K in Portsmouth this Thanksgiving morning was a competitor in a different kind of race. Tulsi Gabbard chatted up runners and posed for pictures as she celebrates the holiday on the campaign trail in the Granite State. We love New Hampshire and uh, I'm grateful to be able to be here today. Um, here in Portsmouth, we'll be getting to Nashua and to other parts of the state, uh, but also have my family here to join us for Thanksgiving. It's awesome. Since her last visit, Gabbard's profile has continued to rise through battles with both Hillary Clinton and the Democratic establishment. The interest she draws and her base of support make her unique in the Democratic primary field. Ben Nodish of Dover says he's looking for a candidate who will support the Second Amendment. As far as the Democrats go, she'd probably be my top pick. This week, the Congresswoman, herself a veteran of the Iraq War, introduced legislation to withdraw U.S. troops from Syria. I think Donald Trump has done a great disservice to our troops and the Syrian people by directing our troops there to uh, secure those oil reserves and talking about bringing in a private oil corporation to go and take the oil. Over the years, primary voters have always had special appreciation for veteran candidates, and military service is exactly why some voters are giving Tulsi Gabbard a look. It's really energizing and that she serves in the military. That's really impressive because um, it's very selfless to do that. While they admire her service, it remains to be seen if enough first-in-the-nation voters will align with Gabbard's foreign policy views. But anyone watching the race knows this candidate doesn't back down from a fight. Aloha should never be mistaken for weakness. In Portsmouth, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.